right, it's the new year, and for me, I think it's time for a new workbench. So, I've got some melamine I'm going to cut up, some uh, 2x4s, some 4x4s, some casters. I'm going to make a nice, long, rolling workbench to go in my shop. Uh, what I have is I've just clamped up right here to cut a straight edge, and then to keep make sure that my blade stays parallel and doesn't drift out, I've just clamped a couple of these uh, 2x3s right here to the side that's the equal distance of the track for my circular saw. Now I'm just cutting my legs to length and I'm using my miter saw on the floor because it's going to get repurposed and put on the new workbench that I'm building. So what I have set up here is not even a fence, just an extension of the table. And then I've clamped a stop at the end right here so that I get an accurate cut every time. So right now I'm just going to start assembling the frame and get things going. I'm going to use some 3 inch wood screws and toenail into the 4x4s through the uh, two by threes. Now that I have it flipped over, I can go ahead and attach my casters and the rest of the frame which will be the top side because right now it's upside down. I should, probably should use lag bolts to go into this, but I'm kind of nervous about how much room I have with these uh, five inch casters. I don't want to split out the sides of the four by fours. So I'm going to use some wood screws, which happen to be just a little too small. So I'm going to back them with the washer and that should give me plenty of room. Now I'm going to be notching out the corners of this OSB that's going to be the uh, base support of my rolling workbench. Uh, I'm going to do that just using my jigsaw. I've already made my lines, which you probably can't see on the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and freehand cut them with the jigsaw. cut the other side and I'll be able to drop it in place. So now that I have both sheets of the OSB cut for the bottom support here, I'm going to go ahead and start securing, in, securing it in with just a few uh, inch and a quarter wood screws. I've gone ahead and I've cut out all the pieces that are going to support my miter saw. Now I'm going to screw them together and get this box set up so that I can set it in place for the opening where it's going to be on the table. It might help to have a drill battery that's charged up.
now that I have the assembly put together that's going to hold my miter slide, I'm going to go ahead and put it in place. Alright, so here's my new workbench. I still have a bit of cleaning up to do, but I'm excited about this. This should really help me keep the shop clean and organized. I have my planer set up on the end there. You can see my joiner in the back over there. My miter saw is set up, but I haven't set up a fence system for it yet, but I plan on getting on that real soon. My band saw is there. Over on this end of the table, I plan on doing a uh, router lift and I'll probably do a tilting fence system. I'm not sure yet, but I definitely want some sort of tilt to get more variety out of the bits that I have. And there's my table saw and my old workbench, which I moved my lathe onto, and I should get a bit more use out of that over there. And as well as my lathe, I have my scroll saw set up over there and my hollow chisel mortiser and again still a bit more to clean up but it's getting there well I hope you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did I didn't cover too many of the build details because I thought it was pretty straightforward and as I add on to this workbench and build up a fence system for my miter saw and probably a router lift at the other end of the table by my table saw I'll be going into a lot more detail on how I'm doing things. So if you like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to share. And have fun and be safe.